DirecTV Stream is the game-changing entertainment device you've been waiting for. Let's get you set up to begin the fun. To get started, unpack your DirecTV Stream device and cables. Inside the box, you'll see a handy device setup guide with step-by-step -step instructions. The DirecTV Stream remote control, the DirecTV Stream device, Next, there's a power cable for the DirecTV Stream box. And finally, remove the HDMI cable. Before beginning the setup, please remove the plastic tab from the back of the remote control. Now, we'll start with the HDMI cable. Take your new HDMI cable and insert either end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI port on the back of your DirecTV Stream box. You'll notice the HDMI cable has a unique shape that fits snugly in the port with the larger size of the connector facing up. Now, take the other end of your HDMI cable and insert it into your TV. Your TV may have up to three HDMI inputs, either on the back or perhaps the side of your TV. If you have more than one HDMI port, make note of how the port you're using is labeled on your TV. You may need to change your TV input to this specific port on your TV next. Now, make sure the active source on your television is set to the HDMI port that you just connected the HDMI cable to. You'll likely need to use the input or source button on your TV or TV remote. Refer to your TV's manual if needed. Next, connect the power cord to both a DirecTV stream device and a wall outlet. You should now see a solid blue light on the front of the device. If you don't see a blue light on the device, check the power connections. The DirecTV logo will appear on your TV. DirecTV Stream can connect to the internet from either your home Wi-Fi or directly to your home gateway through an Ethernet cord. Using Wi-Fi is great if your router or gateway isn't close to your TV or if you don't have an Ethernet cable. A direct connection with Ethernet cord is a solid connection if your router is close to your TV. If you'd like to use your home Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. Or, if you'd like a direct internet connection, use an ethernet cable from the back of the DirecTV stream device to your home gateway or router. When the device successfully connects to the internet, you'll see a green LED light on the front next to the blue power light. Your new DirecTV stream box will now automatically update its software and reset. This may take a few minutes and please do not interrupt the updates. Once the device powers up, you'll be asked to pair your remote control. With your DirecTV Stream remote control, press and hold the fast forward and rewind buttons at the same time until a message appears stating that your remote is now ready to use. If you're having trouble getting this message to display, try standing closer to the box itself. You're doing great. Use your remote to follow the instructions on the next few screens where you'll sign in, review and accept the terms and conditions, and label the location where your DirecTV Stream is being used. Then you'll be given the option to sign into your Google account to get the most out of your entertainment experience. While you can skip this section, we recommend you sign in with your Google account to take advantage of linking third-party apps like Netflix, downloading other apps to your TV, displaying your pictures on your TV, and so much more. We've made it even easier for you to install additional apps by supplying a list of popular apps you can select right on the screen. Finally, read and step through the final few screens. You'll see the DirecTV Stream device automatically load your TV experience, and that's it. You're all ready to start enjoying your new DirecTV Stream service. We've combined the best of live and on-demand TV. Watch anytime, anywhere, and access your favorite entertainment in one place with access to HBO Max, Netflix, Prime Video, and more apps you love on Google Play. DirecTV Stream, it's everything you want from TV.